Welcome back my friends, I hope you have a good day because today we're going to do something very interesting we're going to style this card here now this card we will try to we will do it like this so um, this card is actually have a couple of things that is happening on hover the picture is zooming when we click the button there is the content we can go there is a title written by the body of the content of the body of the post and we can just click on this button so that's pretty much it not too much but we need to do it now what we are going to do is actually for this to achieve is here first we need to load the image now we do have this image and where was the image actually located I think so it was the layout header and I have I think we have this image I'm just gonna copy this one and let's see if it's gonna load and here it is the image is too big now don't worry we're gonna fix this one short uh, what else we need to do we are need to go in inside our components and create new file called post underscore post card .scss. so you can name it card if you want but I just want to make it more uh, make it more appropriate because we this is a post and uh, actually it's a card for the posts now here I'm gonna target the card wrapper but before that don't forget to put it here in the components part because here we need to link that post card like that now you don't need to see any problems here if you do restart it or F5 something sometimes it can stuck so card wrapper and what I'm going to do I'm just gonna say so I'm targeting this class the wrapper of it I'm just gonna close this one so I'm just targeting this class and I'm gonna target the bush wrap class which is card now here I will just say um, let's give it a background here so you can see what I'm trying to do background color brown like this actually by the way why is saying brown it's like a little bit red for me now because the image is too big now the borders are too rough and I'm just gonna couple of, do a couple of um, CSS um, and so a couple of line of CSS and see we will see the changes no now what I want to do is I'm just gonna say border border radius and I'm gonna say seven pixels also I'm gonna put box shadow and let's put it zero pixels so if you don't know what this means you can look at my other courses previous one what I have explained because this is not the designing course this is just I don't want but I also don't want not to design so I want to have experience in everything 0 0.4 that's the opacity there so I'm gonna say outline none what else we need here I'm just gonna say cursor pointer in um, margin I'm gonna give it margin just simple margin everywhere so if you don't specify margin top margin left right so it will give a margin everywhere now because this one is in card I can access like this IMG right I do have this class here where is it oops here it is this class so I just want to access the class I'm gonna put a couple of here parameters so I'm gonna say height of this one I want to be a 450 pixels so height of the container actually with I just want to be a hundred percent so it's good to have one to be a hundred percent in the other one to be fixed value now what else I want to do in I'm just gonna target the IMG class inside I mean IMG I'm gonna target the IMG right I'm not targeting any class because I said I'm gonna target the class now I'm gonna say again height I'm gonna give it height of the I'm of the image and I'm gonna put the weight with same hundred percent to occupy this whole container now I'm gonna say background size cover um, background repeat no repeat and also I want to say background position to be in the center and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna save it 
and I hope I'm not gonna see this big 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 image here there you go now uh, you can see that the border are there like uh, it's rounded but the image it's like you can't see actually here the image is clipped it's not it's overflowing so what we can do there's one little trick here called overflow hidden that's what we can do now does it say overflow hidden and for some reason it's not working okay we will fix it later and we also need to put here overflow hidden as well and we go, here we go now overflow hidden you don't need that actually so we needed to put it here overflow hidden All right very good now I think this is one is safe now the border radius is seven pixels you can make it even bigger if you want more rounded and the image is there now this is remember this is the first side and that the other one is the content so you can see also you can see the box shadow that I put here so if you crank it up this number and if you wait this to compile you will see the shadow like that so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now maybe I'm gonna change it later now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to style the hover effect of the IMG so I can do here but I will do outside so just to show you that you can do it even outside without too many nestings so I will say opacity 0.9 you will see why I put the opacity there and transform scale let's put 1.3 not 23 just 3 now here I just want that to be we can just transition all 0.4 seconds so that's 0.4 milliseconds and opacity I don't want that to be like how to say I want the image to be a little bit blurred so let's see what's happening here it is now one more thing one more thing that is important for you to know if if I don't for example if I remove this transition it will be sharp increase and decrease that's why we put the transition to here it is it's jumping it's like that's not good now that's now you know why I put the transition there um so I'm done with this let's style the title what else we do have here if I can write it down the title now the title I will say font size let's make it font size a little bit bigger 25 because remember the default was 18 with just put it with a hundred percent okay that's the width of the container not the font color let's put it color Y right and what else we do have here so we can just um, create uh, we can put a padding and we can align it I'm gonna give it padding remember I always want to do padding 20 double it oops and that will have a nice effect text align I'll put it center what else will I have it um, and I will put a background just background let's say RGBA in this background is 29 comma 106 comma 154 comma 0 0.7 that's the opacity and let's save it let's see what's happening this one is done now I have the title here right this is the post title very good now what I want to do what I want to do is I can to do it to make it to be on top so that's why we're gonna deal a little bit with positioning absolute and so what we are need to do I'm just gonna position absolute here but remember when you do a position in absolute the parent should be also positioned so top 0% left 0% and that should give me that should put it in on the top on the top here but the parent of this one should be positioned 
how relative in the parent is actually the current let's see let's hope that this will work here it is and it's working now also what I want I don't want that to see it immediately so what I can do mm, what I can do is I can say that I will put visibility hidden very good and I will say opacity to zero now this is something that we you it will be interesting for you guys now I'm just gonna go out of here so what I want to do what I want to achieve when I hover it actually when I hover it I want that to appear now so I can access hover and I can go to I can access the car oops what's happening cart title the child actually of this hover effect because I'm hovering actually actual the cart now I'm accessing the card title you can access it like this with double underscore by the way because it's not gonna work and remember to be out of the original title now I just wanna change this visibility back to visible and opacity back to one now also this one to be a little bit more nicer I'm gonna say transition so in transition you don't have to always put all 0.4 you can also specify what you want to transition opacity what you want to animate so I want to do opacity one second and visibility visibility we can put 0.7 seconds oops not X so let's see what's happening now if I refresh I shouldn't see this one and here you go now you see that it's working so transition opacity one second what else we need here um, when I want to hover I also want to change let's put it like this I also want to apply box shadow in the box shadow I'm just gonna copy it from top and I will say I will say 0 20 and 40 and let's put this one 0. 0.6 and the other one point I think it was 0. 0.4 and I'm gonna save it now so I'm gonna have box shadow also what we can do we can style here it is very good now when I hover it you can see that there is a box there is a shadow actually very good now uh, transition what else we need to do we need to style the button after this I think we are done for today and um, I think we have done a lot of things so to be sure this one you can just comment it because it's not good you know, wait for a while until that one is going here you can see the shadow the button is very ugly but we will fix that one next so when I hover it the image is zooming in and this is the post title is also appearing now next part we're gonna style the button and also there is a bigger shadow so the shadow is 0 0.4 and after that you can see even on the edges it's cranking up what we have done we have positioned the title absolute top left zero in the parent of that element is actually the card and that's why the title is appearing there so I think we have achieved a lot now we do have a couple of things to do uh, the button in whatever is in, inside this content here so now that will be for the next uh, next uh, lecture and I hope you enjoyed this one we will uh, I think we will make this one to be to look very very nice and uh, you will learn a lot of new things that you haven't and uh, I hope you're gonna like it so thank you very much I hope to see you in the next one